two and a half hours ago, along with Senator Mikulski, I attended a mobilization ceremony for members of the Maryland National Guard who are being deployed to Iraq. All Marylanders are proud of the service of our members of the National Guard that have been called up and have served in Iraq and in Afghanistan and now being called up. It was an emotional morning as the soldiers said goodbye to their families. And I can tell you, they're ready. They're ready to serve our country and they will serve with great distinction. I told our soldiers and their families that I would do everything I could as a United States Senator to make sure they had all the resources so that they can carry out the mission that has been assigned to them as safely and as effectively as possible. And Mr. President, that's one reason why I will vote for this conference report. We need a change in our mission in Iraq so our soldiers can achieve a mission that's in the best interest of this country. And that's another reason I'm supporting this conference report that spells out a mission that's in the best interest of this nation and can be achieved. We need to change our role in Iraq. We need to get our soldiers out of the middle of a civil war, to focus on the war against terror, to help the Iraqi people take care of their own needs, to bring our troops home. And that's another reason, Mr. President, why we'll be supporting this conference report. We need measurable and achievable benchmarks for the Iraqi government so they can secure their own country, to undertake political reconciliation, and to provide basic needs for ordinary Iraqi citizens. The President of the United States has threatened to veto. That would only delay the delivery of much-needed funds to our forces, delay a change in direction in Iraq, and undermine the need for political reform in Iraq itself. We have our responsibility, and our first responsibility is to act and to pass this supplemental appropriation.